Welcome to the third video in the RunnerX Studio Test Suite series, Execution Options. In this video, we will learn how to manage run configurations, configure run iterations, configure auto retry, and configure error handling. Manage run configurations. An example would be the separation of smoke tests from a full regression suite. We are able to include or exclude test cases and smart folders with the checkbox. In addition, we can enable or disable other items with the context menu. We are also able to save different run configurations by selecting Run Configurations and adding a configuration. And easily switch between the two as can be seen in this example that runs the test without validation. Configure Run Iterations. Run iterations can be set for both test cases or smart folders. To do so, go to the File menu, View and Properties. The test case or smart folder then repeats with the same data. This differs from data-driven testing, which repeats the test case for different data values. But we will witness that a little later when we run the test. Configure Auto Retry. This is useful to avoid test failure due to slow response from the AUT. Auto retry will force test cases or smart folders to rerun until successful or all retries have been used. For data driven tests or tests with iterations, the retry count starts at the point of failure. Failure occurs only if all retries fail. Configure error handling. To configure error handling, use the context menu. There are four options. Continue with iteration. This will execute the next iteration of the same test case or smart folder. Continue with sibling, the default setting. This will execute the next test case or smart folder at the same level. Continue with parent test case will proceed to the next parent test case or smart folder. Stop. Stop the entire test run. Note that an error in the setup region automatically stops the test. If a module fails in the teardown region, the next module is run to try to complete as much of the teardown as possible. Now we are ready to run the test. As can be seen, the first iteration was successful, but all subsequent iterations have failed. As we were validating the number of entries at 1, this failure was expected. <laughs> 